So a while back I read this novel called The Dead Man Who Doesn't Want a Fourth Time. I make a video on it saying that it's not for you expecting it. Obviously I only read a few chapters because that was enough for me to kind of feel where this novel was going because the first few chapters were or first couple of chapters was one some of the most incredible reading I have ever did and this MC was going through so much struggle and pain. He was just wanted he was in this absolute state of like destruction. He wanted to kill everything, destroy everyone, and just like have his revenge on the on the on the people who betray him and on the God. He wanted to annihilate that guy and it was just so great. And then obviously the new chapter comes in and the last chapter that I read, I think it was a like third or fourth chapter, and he turns into 100 degrees, turns into uh, peace-loving, harm-building, shonen type of main character who goes around saving the world, or some other nonsense who wants to be famous, and he wants to live a normal life, or some just absolute garbage, right? Anyways, I got a lot of decent amounts of response for this video, and obviously a lot of them are just a bunch of fanboys who are just upset because I took a shit on, uh, on something that they love. I really don't give a shit. You can all suck my nuts. But to other ones, the decent people who uh, uh, who have something uh, uh, decent, was the word I want? Constructive to say, actually. Um, uh, they say that, so the novel, the, the guy actually does have revenge. And the people who kill his mother, apparently he goes and finds them and he uh, kills uh, kills them. I don't know if he finds them or they just has to come within his point of view and he kills them. But anyways, he does have revenge. Now, that is kind of satisfying to me. Uh, but what I really want to know and what will really make me convinced continue reading this novel and change my opinion of it. If does he deal with the God, the God that who essentially throws him under the bridge, put a cross in his body, throws him into the other world where he was tortured and feel like shit, you know? Does he deals with him? If he does, if he actually go and fights him, I will I will definitely read this manga. However, the higher chances based on my opinion and based on the oath, based on what novels I have read, what actually gonna happen is that he's gonna make friends with the god and they're gonna go around the fucking world singing Kumbaya, saving <laughs> become friends with all the heroes as well and saving the world or some other complete nons nonsensical stuff, but in that kind of a team, right? So if I'm wrong and he actually does go fight the god that betrayed him and uh, has his revenge, I will 100% read this novel and it will be incredible. But if it's what I think it is, yeah, it's a shit show. Anyways, if any of you guys got that far, let me know.